What's going on guys, Arrow here, and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about this potential Pokedex leak that we may have gotten for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Now this came out a few days ago on 4chan, and I know the thread got deleted, so a lot of people were saying that maybe this means something, and while usually that might mean something, it might mean that maybe something about it did seem valid, because with the Pokemon Sun and Moon leaks, if you guys remember for the starters, that thread, like when those images got posted of the starters, those got leaked and like deleted immediately like they were like they were trying to get rid of those from the internet as fast as possible and now we know why because they turned out to be true so maybe the same thing could be happening here maybe not i mean we know that sometimes people purposely delete threads in order to make themselves look more believable but we have potentially 96 pokemon that may have gotten leaked and they're in like this riddle style as well as you guys can see right here in this image there's like a little there's a whole bunch of these boxes here with like pictures of different things that could be hinting at what the pokemon is going to be like there's a lot of potential here and even if this is true or if it's fake I just think it'll be really cool to take a look at this and give you guys my thoughts on what it would be like if we did get Pokemon based off of these things. But before we take a look at this, I do want to let you guys know that I am giving away a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC Fighters Pass. And if you're interested in winning that, then all you gotta do is click the link in the description. If it's not there, it'll be in the pinned comment. Just click down there and you can have a chance to get every single DLC character for Smash Bros. Ultimate. But yeah, let's take a look at this right here. I mean, I'm gonna try to zoom in here so we can take a look. But yeah, these are all of the different images that we have here. And so this is like in a riddle style. And if you remember, with Pokemon Sun and Moon, we actually had a very similar leak like this. And that actually turned out to be true as well. Where if you guys remember, if I can find that picture, I'll actually put it up on screen for you guys, but you can see like there was a picture of a toucan and we got a toucan Pokemon. There was like a like a picture of a Pikachu with a sheet over its head, I think, also, and that turned out to be obviously a Mimikyu. We had some we had some hints about the legendaries as well. Like I know the Riddler posted a lion and a Zubat, and those were hinting at the legendaries because we got obviously Solgaleo, which was a lion, and then Lunala, which was like a big bat, which was hinted from the Zubat. So a lot of times these things could turn out to be true, but either way, it's gonna be fun to talk about it. So yeah, let's take a look right here. So obviously the very first thing that we've got here is of course Grookey. And then the next thing here is probably gonna be its second stage evolution. I wanna see if I can zoom in even a little bit more. I mean, the picture does get a little bit blurry, but yeah, here it, it looks like this is going to be Grookey's second evolution. It looks like that the monkey has a stick as well, so it's probably going to be based off of what is on top of Grookey right here. And a lot of people were saying that maybe they have some sort of sports theme going on where Grookey is going to be like a batter of some kind with baseball, so that would be pretty cool. And then we can see right here that the final stage, we can see it's definitely looks like some sort of stealthy ninja type of monkey Pokemon, so that looks pretty cool. Then obviously moving into Score Bunny, we've got the default Score Bunny right here, the picture that we know. And then we've got like a pretty interesting picture right here. It's got like a flower on its head here, and then it's got like a, a pink color to it as well. And then obviously it goes here as well. So maybe this is going to be some sort of feminine type of design that we're going to be getting with the fire type starter. I mean, we know that they kind of like to do that where like last generation, obviously the big uh, like feminine type of starter Pokemon was Primarina. So maybe we're going to be getting Score Bunny as like this feminine type of fire bunny that we're going to be having for the 8th generation. So it seems pretty cool. I don't know exactly what this picture is supposed to be hinting at. Like it's, I don't know, it just looks like, uh, it says Bunny 3, but it doesn't even look like this is a bunny to me. It looks like it's like a lady sitting on this moon here, but I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. Like if you guys know what you think that this could be hinting at, definitely comment down below, but I'm not exactly sure what it could be hinting at. Then moving on to Sobble here, we've got the picture of Sobble that we already have. And then it says here Lizard 2, where it looks like it's going to be some sort of chameleon, which we pretty much already know. I mean, Sobble is sort of already hinted at like it's like a lizard Pokemon. It's it, We've seen it in the trailer as well. It seems to be camouflaging and like fading in with the water. So it seems pretty cool. It looks like it's going to be evolving into just a bigger lizard here. But then the third stage here, this is what definitely like makes me very interested. It, there's a picture of a serpent here or like a dragon. So if Sobble is going to be turning into like an epic dragon water type, that's going to be ridiculously cool to have. Like I might have to go team Sobble if that turns out to be true because right now I'm team score bunny but like I don't know this this score bunny line if this is true does not seem to interest me at all like it seems like it's gonna be like this cutesy like pink type of bunny and then I don't know what this is even supposed to be but if this is gonna turn into some sort of blue dragon that's that's actually really cool so I don't know we'll have to wait and see how the starters turn out they I mean like like some of these hints don't make a lot of sense especially the the bunny one I mean this I can kind of see like a stealthy uh, monkey Pokemon and then this like a really cool epic dragon but but the bunny here I have no clue what that could be. Uh, moving down here, it says hamster number one and hamster number two. 
These are probably gonna be like your default uh, rodent Pokemon that you find on Route 1. So yeah, this will probably be like the Rattata of the region, the Pat Rat, that type of Pokemon. Then we've got the bird here. It says bird number one and bird number two. So this is probably gonna be like the Pidgey of the region, the Pidove. So it looks like it's gonna be only a two-stage evolution. So it's probably gonna be like uh, Taillow into Swellow and it's not gonna be a three-stage one where we have like Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot. So that's pretty interesting. Usually we get three stages, but I guess in this generation, there's only going to be two of them. Next thing here, it says Grasshopper 1, Grasshopper 2. This is probably going to be like the, the bug Pokemon that you find in the very beginning of the game, like your Caterpie, your Suwaddle, that type of Pokemon. Pretty cool. Uh, then we've got a Squirrel here. So a Squirrel, maybe this will just be like an extra rodent that you can find somewhere once you get a little bit uh, more into the region, like around Route 3, Route 4, somewhere around there. I mean, this could probably be just like a new Pokemon, like 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 a like a Sandshrew or something like that. Just a cool Pokemon that you can find in the region. And then we've got a pig here. It says pig number one and pig number two. Uh, I wonder if this actually goes into pig three. No, it doesn't. So it says so. It looks like we just have a pig and then a pig number two. I don't know if this is gonna actually be a different. Uh, like unique Pokemon. Maybe this will just be like a straight up ground type pig or I don't know what they could actually make in terms of a pig. Like the pig Pokemon that we have right now are pretty interesting in the types that we have. Like we have Grumpig which is a psychic Pokemon and then we have uh, Embor which is a fire type. So I don't know how they're gonna make this pig. I mean from like the way that this picture makes it seem I feel like it's probably gonna be a ground pig but we're gonna have to wait and see exactly what this turns out to be like. Uh, moving down here, it says potato, which is <laughs> kind of funny actually, a potato Pokemon. I can't really imagine what a potato Pokemon would be like, but then again, we do have Pokemon based off of like keys and other like pretty crazy things, so we're just gonna have to wait and see how that turns out. So we've got potato one, which evolves into potato number two, and then we've also got root one, which evolves into root two, and I wouldn't be surprised if these were like two version exclusives. Like in Pokemon Sword, you get the potato, and then in Pokemon Shield, you get the root, kind of like the, like the Bellsprout and the Oddish for Pokemon Red and Blue, so maybe that's gonna be what that type of uh, evolution is gonna be, but both of them seem like they're probably going to be straight up grass Pokemon or maybe grass and ground or some type of Pokemon like that. Then we've got fishes here where it says uh, fish number one and fish number two. So here is just a typical goldfish and then it evolves into apparently like this fish with a really big head on it, like a big brain type of goldfish, which seems pretty cool as well. I mean, this will probably be like like a, just a basic water type Pokemon to have, like a star you to star me type of Pokemon that you can just find throughout the region. Then we've got your dog. It says dog number one, dog number two. Kind of reminds me of like just a like a dog Pokemon you can find throughout the region, like a Growlithe to an Arcanine. So I don't know what typing they could make this. I wonder here if actually actually, I wonder if these colors on top of these these names mean what type of Pokemon they're gonna be. Cause that actually, cause like look here we can see like Grookey's green and then Score Bunny is red. Maybe these could be typings. Like maybe maybe like this yellow means that it's going to be an electric dog and then it turns into another electric dog. I, I don't know, I think that that might actually be something, like maybe that's what, it, I think it makes sense because like here the next one it says fairy and like it's it's the color of fairy type which is like this pinkish type of color so maybe that's actually it, like maybe here this could be like a dragon type color, I don't know what this uh, pink and blue is supposed to be but yeah I think that these could actually be types, the, the box color is actually the typing which is pretty interesting. So here it just says Fairy 1, and then it specifically says here that this is a fake mon, so it's not saying that this is the real deal, but it's probably just gonna be a cool fairy Pokemon that we can find. Moving down here, it looks like this is gonna be a three-stage evolution with an ant. So obviously the first thing here, this just looks like typical larva or like the really baby form of an ant. Then we've got like the normal ant, and then it evolves into like this powerful looking ant with wings on it. So that's pretty cool, like a three-stage powerful bug evolution. That would be nice. I mean, we don't really have a lot of three-stage bug evolutions, so it would be nice to have like a powerful one that, that can actually be used in like competitive play instead of just like a butterfree one or something that isn't that useful. Then we've got sheep here, it says sheep number two and sheep number three. Uh, maybe this could just be like, I don't know, like an Ampharos, like Mareep type of line that we just find somewhere throughout the region. It's got a pretty bland color up here, so I feel like it might just be a normal type sheep. Then we've got badgers, it says badger one and badger two. Uh, maybe this could be like a honey badger or some type of creature like that, but it's got like a, like a brownish color up here, so I feel like it'll probably be a ground type. And then we've got stones here, it says stone number one and stone number two. Probably just gonna be like a, like a powerful defensive rock type Pokemon, I'm guessing. The color up here is pink, which is interesting. Is it gonna be like a, a rock and psychic Pokemon? Um, do we even have a psychic and rock Pokemon? I mean, I can't remember off the top of my head right now, but I mean, if there is one, I'll put a picture of it on, on screen while I'm editing. 
Then we're moving down here to rats. It's just a, a just the one rat right here. There's nothing else. Doesn't seem like there's going to be an evolution to it. So I like, guess just like a, like a poisonous rat, I'm guessing, from the color. Pretty cool. Uh, then we've got clocks here. It says clock number one and clock number two. Um, this will probably be like the, the inanimate object that turns into a Pokemon of this of this generation. Uh, like last time we had um, Clef Key, which was a uh, keys or whatever. I forget what the inanimate object was in um, in Sun and Moon, I guess. I guess Sandy Ghast and Palo Sand because they were sand castles. You can't really tell me a sand castle is supposed to be a living thing, so I guess the sand castles. And then we're moving here to where it says man Manatee, so I guess we're going to be getting some Manatee Pokemon where it looks like this one this one is going to be just a pure water type and then it evolves into water ground I'm thinking. So pretty cool as well, like this definitely seems like it's going to be like a bulky defensive type of Pokemon. So that seems pretty cool. Then we've got some fencers here. It says Fencer 1A and Fencer 1B. So maybe this could mean like two different versions of fencers. Like maybe just one of them you can find in Pokemon Sword and the other one you can only find in Pokemon Shield. Pretty cool to have fencers as well. Like I could definitely see a really cool fencing type of Pokemon that they could make. So that would be a really cool design. I'd like to see that. Then we've got Toads here. It just says Toad 1 and Toad 2. Uh, it looks like a, there's like another frog and toad type of Pokemon, I guess, because wasn't there one up here as well, like we saw? Um, actually, no, I don't think so. I guess I guess this is going to be the only frog and toad in this in this generation, so that's cool. I mean, the colors here make it seem like it's a fairy type, but maybe it could also be poison or psychic or something like that. Pretty cool to see what that could turn out to be like. I mean, we've gotten some pretty cool uh, frog Pokemon or toad Pokemon, like uh, Seismitoad and Greninja and stuff, so it would be nice to see what that turns out to be like. Then we've got slots here. It says slot number one and slot number two. Um, we haven't seen a Sloth Pokemon, I think, since Generation 3, where we got Slackoth, so that would be nice to see what a Sloth Pokemon could be like again. Then we've got a Tiger, so that's going to be cool as well, a Tiger Pokemon uh, from the colors here. I don't know, it's like a bluish, um, bluish brownish color, so maybe it could be like, I don't want to say water, because that it doesn't seem like it would make sense. A water tiger? I mean, maybe that could happen, but I don't think that would make a lot of sense. Maybe it could just be a ground type or a normal type or something like that. Then we've got bats here, uh, bat number one and bat number two. Uh, these will probably be like Pokemon you can find at night and just like a cool bat Pokemon. We've got moles here, it says mole number one and mole number two. Pretty interesting, I mean probably just going to be like a ground Pokemon that you can find uh, in caves or something like that. Sting number one, and yeah, just, it, there's no sting number two here, it just says sting one. This could probably just be like a Pukumuku type of Pokemon, just like an interesting Pokemon that you find uh, that's just by itself. So. Yeah, I guess that'll be cool. Uh, I don't know what this is supposed to be. Is it like a porcupine with all the, the spikes and stuff coming out of it? I think it's probably a porcupine. Uh, then we got a gazelle here. Gazelle number one, gazelle number two. Uh, pretty cool. I don't think we have a gazelle Pokemon, so that would be nice to have. Uh, from the colors here, maybe it's like a ground type and then it evolves into a fighting type uh, with this like orangish type of color. Even a ground and fighting type would be a really cool combination to have. We've got some snails here, snail one, snail two. Probably just gonna be like a water ground type Pokemon, like a Shalos and Gastrodon type of Pokemon. Uh, Pika clone it says here. So Pika clone, obviously this is gonna be like the uh, like the Togedemaru, the Dedene, the Imogla, that type of Pokemon that looks like a Pikachu that we get every single generation. That's to be expected. A uh, Komodo here, Komodo's also a pretty cool Pokemon uh, type of like design to get because I don't think we've really gotten a Komodo Pokemon. I don't think we have any Komodo Pokemon. So that'll be cool to see. Ivy, it says here, Ivy 1, Ivy 2. Uh, probably just gonna be like a simple grass and poison type Pokemon. Uh, probably talking about like poison ivy or somewhere along those lines. So yeah, probably just another grass type Pokemon somewhere else. It says here, Eevee number two. It says fake mon, so obviously this, is, this isn't the real deal, but maybe this is like hinting at what type the Eevee evolution is going to be for this generation. So it looks like the it's there's a picture here with the steel type Eevee. So it looks like the new Eevee evolution is in fact going to be a steel type, which seems pretty cool. Then moving down here, we've got a three stage ghost evolution, which looks really cool. I mean, here we can see like there's just a ghost here. Then we've got like this ghost with a mask on top of it. And then it turns into this one with a shield and a sword. Obviously it makes sense because the games are called sword and shield. I would love to see a powerful three stage ghost evolution. I mean, I don't think we've gotten a lot of those in a while. I mean, like the one that I can remember off the top of my head is uh, Litwick and Lampent and then evolving into Chandelure. So those were that, that was a really good three-stage ghost evolution But most of the time we haven't really gotten a lot of powerful ghost ones that are in three stages So I would love to see a powerful one come out from generation 8 
Uh, then we've got here a nose bear. Um, this looks like a cool type of uh, animal to make into a Pokemon. I don't really know what it's like, but this color is definitely catching me off guard here. Maybe it could be like a psychic Pokemon or a, a fairy Pokemon. Who knows what they could turn that into. A ferret here, it just says ferret number one. Just like, I guess, a standalone Pokemon. Flea number one, uh, it looks like another standalone Pokemon. Eyes number one, so th these seem like some interesting type of designs here. I don't know what this could be, but I guess we'll just have to see. Uh, alpaca number one, alpaca number two, so those are also just two other Pokemon that you can find, I guess. This evolves into that one, I'm assuming. Uh, from the colors, maybe like just a normal type Pokemon. I don't know what this lightest blue color could be, like maybe a water type, but a water type alpaca just doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, then we got whale, I'm assuming here, whale number one, whale number two. Probably gonna be like a powerful water type Pokemon that you can find. Robots here, we got a robot one, robot two. This color makes it seem like it'll be an electric type, and I think that'll be cool. It'll be like like a Golark probably for the region. That'll be nice to have, just a, a cool looking robot. A snowman, this is actually one, if you guys remember, a snowman Pokemon was rumored for Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon back in like 2016, and I still would love to see a snowman Pokemon, so hopefully we do get a snowman. Snowman 1 evolving into snowman 2, a really powerful, po like strong ice type Pokemon, that would be nice to have, uh, so that's cool. We've got Thorn number 1 here, nothing else, so I guess it's just a standalone Thorn Pokemon, maybe from the colors here, like a fighting rock ground type of Pokemon. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Kangaroo 1, Kangaroo 2. Is there a 3 here? No. So yeah, it looks like I guess this will just be a Kangaroo. It looks like it's a normal type evolving into a fighting type. Kangaroo would make a lot of sense as well. I mean, it's a Pokemon. We don't really have a lot of Kangaroo Pokemon, I don't think. Uh, the one that comes to my mind is Kangaskhan, so... Yeah, kangaroo Pokemon, a fighting type kangaroo with like lots of like powerful punching types of attacks with like or kicking type of type of attacks, I guess. Since kangaroos like to kick a lot, I mean using moves like high jump kick and stuff. There, there's a lot of potential for some cool kangaroo Pokemon. A uh, unicorn here. I don't think we have a unicorn Pokemon either. Um, yeah, I don't think we have a unicorn Pokemon, so that would be nice to see. Uh, monster number one. I don't know. Is this supposed to be a Loch Ness monster? type of picture that would be pretty cool uh, like a monster really powerful like water type Pokemon that you can find somewhere throughout the region that seems cool uh, dragon 1 dragon 2 and dragon 3 this I'm assuming is probably gonna be the the pseudo dragon type Pokemon of the generation like how we have um, what is it like hydrogen uh, we have uh, what else do we have Haxorus um, Salamence, Garchomp, that type of Pokemon, like the powerful dragon that you find towards the end of the region. So this is cool. I mean, the first picture here is just an egg, and then it turns into like a little baby dragon, and then we've got this super epic, powerful looking type of dragon. And from the colors here, maybe an ice type dragon Pokemon? That would be really cool. I mean, an ice dragon, I think the only one that we have right now that matches that is Kirim. So that would be nice to have. So I would love to see what the pseudo Pokemon looks like. So, I mean, I don't think that we've had, like, a lot of good pseudo-legendaries, in my opinion, anyway. So, like, I think it would be nice to have a really good one after a while. Like, I loved I loved Haxorus and Hydrogen in Gen 5, but I don't even know what Gen 6's was. Was it uh, Gudra? Was it um, Noivern? I don't, I'm not sure which one it was, but I didn't like either of those designs all that much. And then with Gen 7, it was, um, it was what, como -O? And como -O was alright, but I didn't like the scaly type of design that it had going. So if it was, if it's gonna be like this epic ice dragon type, that's gonna be very cool. So I can't wait to see what that looks like. And here we've got a snake and a horse. So this is falling into like that other leak that we got, like that predicted Pokemon Sword and Shield. If you guys remember, right after Pokemon Sword and Shield were revealed, people were talking about that and they said that the leak was going to be a metal snake and a wooden horse. So it seems like this person, if, it, if they're faking it, they're trying to go off of that leak. But if they're real, then it seems like that leak might be true as well. Then it says here Wolf 1A, Wolf 1B. So Wolf 1A it looks like you're gonna find only in Pokemon Sword. Wolf 1B you'll only find in Pokemon Shield. Makes sense, the wolves are probably like what the, the logos are based off of here at the top. So the thing here is after after the wolves, I don't know what these Pokemon could be right here. It says Nord number one, East number one, South number one, West number one, Plague one, and Giant one. The thing about these is I'm assuming that these are probably going to be the legendary Pokemon. Obviously the Metal Snake and the Wooden Horse. Then the wolves are probably going to be like maybe new forms or secret legendary Pokemon. But I don't know what these could be down here because I don't think that they're just going to put normal Pokemon after the legendaries up here. So I'm, I'm feeling like these are all probably going to be like... A hidden Pokemon that you can find like that are legendaries like maybe these could be like the legendary trios like like uh, Entei, Suicune, and Raikou like those types of trio Pokemon Maybe these are all mythical Pokemon that you can find later or like they're gonna be distributed throughout events 
but yeah, it seems pretty cool. It says here giant one, and this is definitely like that picture from the region, and that we're all guessing like what could this mean? Like is it hinting at some sort of Pokemon or some sort of lore? So that's gonna be cool to see. These are all just seeming like it's gonna be like powerful Pokemon that are based off of these creatures, like this turtle, this tiger. So I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see, but yeah, that is pretty much gonna do it for all of the Pokemon that we have here according to this image. I mean, this is like 96 Pokemon if we're going off this image and if this turns out to be true, and that would be a very good number to have. I mean, we have noticed that recently with Generations, we haven't been getting that many new Pokemon. Pokemon X and Y, we only got like 60 or so new Pokemon, and then with Pokemon Sun and Moon, we got like 80 or so. And I mean, to be fair, they did have Mega Evolutions and Alola form to have like their different forms that counted as new Pokemon, but I would love to see 96 Pokemon if this is true. 96 would be a fair number to have in my opinion. That's a good amount of new Pokemon. I just don't want there to be very few new Pokemon. So hopefully this turns out to be true. Whether or not this is true or not, I can't tell you. But I mean, a lot of these designs do seem very interesting. Like I would love to have some of these some of these types of Pokemon, like a fencing Pokemon. A fencing Pokemon would be cool. A mole, a ghost here, like this powerful three-stage ghost evolution, a gazelle. A lot of these do seem like pretty cool ones. And some of these we do need, like a snowman as well. Like we don't have a snowman Pokemon. I was hoping that there would be a dolphin somewhere on this list because we need a dolphin Pokemon. But yeah, it looks like a dolphin isn't on here. But a lot of these are pretty cool and I would love to see Pokemon designs be based off of them. And so there you go guys, that is going to do it for the supposed Pokemon Sword and Shield Pokedex. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please be sure to click that like button, and also comment down below and let me know what you guys think of this. Do you guys like some of these designs? Do you want this to be true? Definitely be sure to let me know all of your thoughts down below. If you're new to this channel, then please be sure to subscribe. I'm definitely going to have some more Pokemon content in the future, so please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Click on that bell to become a part of the notification squad. Go follow me on Twitter at @joearrow so you can be featured in videos, and also join my Discord server as well. We've got a bunch of people in there who are always talking about Pokemon and Smash Bros, so definitely be sure to join that. And remember to enter my giveaway as well. I am giving away a Super Smash Bros Ultimate DLC's Fighters Pass, and if you want to have a chance to get every single Smash Bros DLC character, then definitely be sure to click the link in the pinned comment if you want to have a chance to win, but that is going to do it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching.